This is One Pot Show with Triple A on Sierra Network Radio. This is a fantasy series, the One Pot Show with Triple A. Get at the pandemic, make we all can pull the One Pot on Sierra Network Radio with Triple A. Sierra Network Radio, all day, every day. Buna Trot, Sierra Network Radio, Triple A, present the One Pot Show. Maggie Pepper Salt, the number one, auto two, three, or four. Make the moon cool, the moko. Left Kalo Kalo, Kagis World Go. One pot show, bon atrot, make a ala. Oh, oh, yeah. Sierra Network Radio, all day, every day. Yes, land that we love, our Sierra Leone. Blessing and peace will ever be thine own. Oh, our beloved Mama Salon. As promised, I get the man himself on board. Jonathan Sandy, JPG. Welcome to Sierra Network Radio once more, Jonathan Sandy. Yes, uh, good evening, um, Abraham and Sam Bolden. On a good evening, once more again, you know, as I can say, everyone always like forgets me. The entire East Africa, where we almost go to bed. But it's a pleasure again for them to know this evening. All right. Uh, good afternoon, day. Now, America, one another day, America. I shall say, we're in a salon, we're in a clinic on a creek, Australia, we're in a morning time now. On a good morning and good afternoon. Yes, um, I believe, say, as I've been promised, people lame, according to our last conversation, I've been promised people and say, I go come with you back and we go can continue. Who say we be left? But today, I want to make we focus a little on peace building and the electoral democracy in Sierra Leone. And uh, I want to make we start with peace building first. And without wasting any time, in the state at which the country they now, 2016, and let me go back to 2001, to 2016, 15 years. I want to make you take me through in peace building, what do you think say don't achieve and what do you think say lack a little bit? Oh thank you so much, Abraham. About this if an exam at the take at the take self, I think this is not load one no and I go try. They say Pelin as an sample service at this level of the port of I can try. Now um what I intend for do for take fumble and two and for an issue with conversation, because this is now more or less a conversation, not a lecture. Now, and now for first of all, as I did, mean, Abraham, when he called me, I asked you, I said, wait to make you feel safe for doing this conversation. And I, I believe, say, uh, 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 the conversation today, Fambul, um, the main purpose, the question is what I'm saying, now for continuous on the top. The reason why we do this conversation, as in, I know, the, uh, the, the, the organization of Kitong where with the support to students and youth them called the Campaign for National Unity Guardian. We register with government for work on three main areas then. In other words, the question the brother say uh, in terms of peace building or waiting with uh, um, waiting at some of the causes they waiting make we go into war for them not be again. And then here then they want we then work on political party reforms and see how was able for strengthen their capability and support them in terms of what you which man call strategic advice. Two, we the work on the ongoing national constitutional review uh, for provide support and work for, especially in terms of public awareness raising why it is important for no work on the national constitutional review process. And then thirdly, we the work on elections, how for improve Sierra Leone and um, 
how to engage students and youth in what we call electoral democracy. As you know, I know elections are very important. I will come to that in a minute. But what the board are asking for talk about, why would they do this work? NIMIC and, 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 and the CNU, they work on this. Therefore, um, part of the work they do, the first thing we'll, we'll start in 20, late 2013 14, I will work on uh, poli- research on political, political parties as part of the process of field building. In other words, currently, we don't commission a research who will title Peace Building, Political Parties, and Electoral Democracy in Sierra Leone. In other words, from the term, we're not going to need for rehearse within the root causes of the conflict, which will come out, whether military coup, one party state, only one and then I waste time now, so say, but who family and know about that? But which would it try for do for link? Who say, we be done tough, like what Abraham said, 2001 to 2016, in terms of peace building and consolidation, and how we, we manage for what we do in terms of the broader notion of peace building, say, with our only kind of reconstruction and development, and waiting at the role of political parties in that process, and how then political parties, especially the internal democracies, they work in our salon. Is it are there progress? Are there challenges? And how are they going to perform? Because mind you, whether an APC, whether in power now, or SLPP, PNDC, UDM, or UNPP, whether they're in the opposition, uh, do they have the capability to serve as effective and efficient opposition party? That's not one. Then secondly, the ruling party, does it have capability? We don't see what it happens. So we go counter to that uh, essentially. So in terms of peace building, as I say, I'm not going to look for a house put on a commode, but essentially, uh, Abraham, the question you ask, look, put that into context. Nay, fam, would they understand small. When we don't fight for 10, almost, almost here, the, the, in, 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 with, uh, the instrument or the tool there, which which man called the tool that they use for peace building, they normally can start from what they call negotiation, ceasefire agreement. Ceasefire or peace agreement. Then, now, then they form what you will forget the agreement and they, what we call an accord in real context. Now, then they form the legal and policy basis from which you they, the parties to the conflict. In real case, when, when we talk about parties, in our own notice, when we get RAF, the Revolutionary United Front, led by late Corporal Fudis, Seban, and Sanko, and then when we get uh, um, the parties. You get it. Even the government at that time, the government of Sierra Leone People's Party, led by uh, President, late President Ahmed Jankaba, and then later we can get the military aspect of it also. We get for later engage into the process. That now the the Armed Forces Revolutionary Council, where Major General Paul Koma believed. Then we never forget social capital. Then when the voluntary come inside back, we then can help in terms of. Uh, fighting itself that the civil defense forces. They were what will be they call the Kamajordan, the Betis, the Donso, the Tamaboros, the, the you know, I mean the hunting society and West. There were like seventeen of them groups then they were them actually they would be mobilized them as ethnic militia or tribal militia group and they will bring them at the political space or the security space for fight again. So when we get all them parties they need to work they need together. For now we've done the fighting for push and here and there for, you know, so that they all go, go to war, cease fire, then go lay them, go them down, and then we go to peace agreement, and then we start for implement, implement that. That whole process, Abraham, government be able for, for negotiate with them parties, especially the Revolutionary United Front, RAF at that time. Three peace agreements. One, number the Abidjan Peace Agreement. The Abidjan Peace Agreement, the brother, where government begin initiate down under the leadership, of President Kaba, we may able to forget the peace accord, and then they sign that one day, the 30th of November 1996, then government is signed out with the, the rebel Nayama Yamasuku and Abidjan, Kod We still have all commodities, you know, all water, between all, most of the provision. I will tell you why it's saying. One of the reasons why it's saying, most of the, which will be called, now we all man know, we call DDR, for disarm the combatant, the government of the Germany. We don't necessarily work for how many years. So, come on up the day, the International Committee, whether World Bank and IMF, nobody knows good money. So, if you want to so many, but wait, imagine the opportunity cost. You didn't have diamond oil, economy, Abraham. 
Then you take diamond in those things. Waiting at the economic cost for lay down your arm, you, you're gone. And, and then you can't do the work for nothing. You don't get woke, you don't get nothing. So the problem is government doesn't get popular tenants for trade off with the rebellion. Hence, it is, we define that. I remember uh, late Major Kula Samba was head of the National DDR Commission at that time. We they talk women and women, we they go get meeting, we they talk with them, they say, Jason, you say, when I go tell, you know, this thing cannot work because DDR, it has to be an opportunity cause for waiting even and go leg the amgo. Remember then telling the exam, the AK-47, now the meal ticket for the area. Where you get AK-47, I'm telling you to say this, people that will be able for go harass people and get food, and then go get the best kind of friend, then go get all kinds of things. So now the meal ticket for them. So it was very difficult for another uh, November, uh, November 1996 peace agreement work. So it failed. We start again. Then waiting can happen. Then we can't say trouble come in, in, on, in, 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 in 1997 where Major General Paul Koma take over the air factory. But gradually, he lead with himself for, for sign up by 1997, 23rd October, which we call the Konaki Peace Plan with Major General Paul Koma, the air factory. Again, Nabi. Hello, you there with me, Midwara? Yeah, definitely, I do with you. <laughs> Continue. Yes, yeah, so the corner, the corner keep this plan when negotiate, and then I want the government be able to sign up. I mean, when I bala more, I mean, they and they say they come, the government boss can pass, we all go with air packs, the people them, uh, uh, that thing that we get, people like uh, Palo Bangua, them, you know, then we, uh, 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 so yes, it, we all go with Alu, Alu Kamara, and then go sign negotiate that corner crisis plan, they come out. I remember with the whole way to make him play Nigeria then, uh, the foreign minister at that time where Abacha said. So that accord was signed on the 23rd of October 1997. Then we come on the land we can't, you know, say out for work, you know, work. Then uh, finally we come to the Lome Peace Agreement after several struggles and the way the government is signed on the 7th of July 1999. Hello, you there with me, Migwara? Yes, sir. Yes, so the Law and Peace Agreement, under this research, what would they do in you know, the campaign for national unity? We can't find out, say, that the Law and Peace Accord, now it can't hold water. But that accord, day, we can't find out, say, government be negotiate, you know, go believe, say, now be almost two to three articles, and, uh, uh, I mean, uh, three parts of the Medina, that, uh, uh, no, no, uh, the Law and Peace Accord. Okay, um... Then if you get 28 articles, then... then yeah, JPG, I want... That's up there first. Yes. So now the foundation, now, they, now the, in terms of legal and policy framework, I just want to get a background, this small exam, now he laid the foundation for all within the Apple in terms of the provisions, the implementation of all, whether in the economic sector, political sector, security sector, DDR, transitional justice, including the special court, and then the Twitter Reconciliation Commission. Now that's how they start. So now okay. the foundation now of this building. All right. I believe the family where they listen, go to follow up. Amicably, we just start with this peace building. We take them from that 10 day to now. Um, I want to make we can to this disarm, the mobilize, and the reintegration process. Now, I want to make we, we focus on a little because why make a cow this question? Now, in the part of the Okada riders, them na salon now. And because people and they accuse these guys that they were ex combatant. Just now, where you talk, you talk, see, um, the AK 47, Naina be the, the way, forget meal, forget all these other things. So in recent times, if you want to twist them a little, you go say yes, the Okada nine are the way of of getting them living too at this time. And um what went wrong during the DDR program before we come to the TRC? I left the TRC first. What went wrong? Way was it sustainable? What in what in be short? What in make these people at the end of the day they still let out? And I make we go find out say a few days back those guys can can what did the police they accuse them for say if somebody let us say he touched them small before you know it they don't mobilize before you know it within the twinkle of an eye then sabi for arrange themselves and we see what happened a few days ago that quick time they don't burn tire they say they go to New Englandville police station for go do something okay we are talking about peace building what went wrong would I not be keeping on part of the promise from the DDR program before we decanted the TRC 
Yes, Mr. Governor. Like I'm saying, you know, as part of the program that we had to supervise on the African continent, if I have it in Somalia, if I want to call it DDI, because as I say, DDI simply means family disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration. Now, waiting on the United process, now DDR, where is the uh, disarmament now for pull gun and people they earn? You know, but as I say, if I need pull gun now people they earn, they get for be an opportunity cost, which are they get. Although, yes, some of them they don't kill me, they don't and this, but that are the two ways the international community they don't define for the people they lay hand and gun. In fact, that case, that, before you get to that, you get for go negotiate with the court cease fire. So that all the parties that were there. So that one they work. When I remember when we get Boku all over the country, we get DDR uh, 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 center and they uh, where disarmament and they go later and gone and they happen and then demobilize them. But uh, you find out the way you come to best practice, Salon we really achieve that side of, in terms of the peace building. However, the hard part in a day will be stuck. The art that means reintegration. And there are two areas that of reintegration. We're going to call psychosocial reintegration. How you they prepare the ex combatants and therefore join the community. So in the way that they don't do bad, how do the community go, go receive them in terms of the resettlement, for forgiveness, for you know, those are what we do in terms of uh, reintegration. And the social aspects, psychosocial or cultural reintegration. That how you go connect them back inside the commons and Cambia then come on and put long or some man who will be disarmed and Makini as you know, so then I go here I come on. How you go transfer that person they back from go where they don't so they don't participate in the war. All man be no thing are rebel, now be come a job at this person. So now the whole process of guidance counseling, making sure the community accepting and all of that. So that worked a bit fine. And clearly now one best practice what they transport, what don't they so what don't they implement now other countries the way they work. But the other past aspect of the reintegration, not the economic one. As I say, we don't want to be tailed because we're not diamond rich or natural resource rich country. Most people, they're most gay and they look like within the top, but they call an terrorist organization like ISIS, Al Shabaab, Boko Haram, and that. But they know they survive, but they get to go inside resources, then they forget copper for buy arms and ammunition. So we own case. Most times, the Yemen let me survive because they may occupy the diamond field, the cocoa, which I'll be calling in the last interview, the Moa Basin, which I cocoa confidate and the diamond. And I did them in the take arm, and as you know, from the research you don't do, and from who will be they talking about, because they may transport that through the border, like Liberia, and then, then pass them, go sell them, buy arms and ammunition. So when we can disarm them, or government disarm them, the, the, the economic reintegration aspect, the short spam, now be like a two to three months. In our own, I know that we get a, a riverside drive in Africa, Western area, and they the integration program with the outside, then they get and say, What you want to do now in your life? What you don't do now, you don't disarm, you don't demobilize yourself, or go to your community, they don't train you. What kind of work you want to do? Most of the work, there, imagine somebody who left in youth transformation or child transformation life. They tell you if you don't go school, if you don't get the skills and ability for me, you move, then you self become self-reliant and self-determined. You don't love standing. Almost 10 and a half years. Mind you, that's a serious thing that you like for where you lost 10 years and a bush no more day and all of that. So, and imagine three months now can give them a uh, thing for do. We say, we, okay, when I can't go work, but when I three months work with the human. Because that's only Remember, we're not a government couple, not to be good time money, like what you have to talk the real sector, as in with diamond field there, with cocoa, with fishes, not be they do so, will be able to donor support, which is the foreign direct investment for good cost. So government may therefore take couple. There are nobody triple Y and DDR program. Government be and World Bank and IMA they establish a special unit where they call the financial management unit. Now he then bring couple they be disarm them, but they can't say, hey. All they don't know they get couple, they say that three months no more we get for uh, 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 we get for process them when they get their work. So the work they get them, most of them are two months, three months. Most three, three, imagine and what is the type of folks and are skills and as men. What is it? Go do carpentry, go do uh, um, um, how we call them. Uh, then, then we introduce the uh, government we get for introduce Okada business so that they will sell them go get some people they guys for get money. That is how the Okada came to be as part of the economic reintegration. So that when the and go back, 
then will be self-sustained for the do their own business. Okay, I want all you, JPJ, I want all you under small because the Okada, now lately we see Okada. Um, if I can remember right, um, at the start of the um, reintegration process, I know say, um, then some then we go do computer, so then go for driving. Yes. Um, a, exactly. a lot of them go for, but like this. Some going, some going man in with my guys will be calling. Yes, they exactly. Some, I know Boku some Ex- come overseas. Exactly. Lots of them go for college now in this. You go see they don't serve something, but they want them. We don't be get the capability. But you know, say for go college, whether I'm in Maga or I Pam, Abraham, you get forget some small, small lesson and book. But they want they don't be go school and this. It was difficult for them. And then we too, in fact, so not be able for pay the school fees yet. because government, with the DDR program done, World Bank not be allowed for pay school fees for people the most time. We don't know get scholarship. Thirty day, in fact, they make they say the national constitutional review process where they come. One of the two way campaign for you is student wing in particular they advocate for don't submit what you call issue paper to the National Constitutional Review Committee, well led by Justice Coward. Now, how the Constitution will create section for need and get access to education rights and loan. Other countries then are trusting, then they trust to keep people in for go. Not only they see access to education, the right to education, not just for me. We get more kudam, we get go one of establish trust fund, then we go college, then you want to do PhD, so you get money. Then you go in there, but Boku people in that tongue, they don't get access to money. And the idea is put money in a bank, education and social capital building are the answer in every country, are the source of development. But we have a way to do it, but all man the way for Commonwealth or this way you don't get grant people there. What people they do in other countries, you they pay back. Okay. You go to us, what you want to do, you pay back. Okay. Now, Kenya, uh, Naya, now Addis Ababa, and Tanzania, you go to a bank, you get your host, you, you, you get your host rent, then they make low low income housing for you. You have to pay school fees. Well, you don't. You ID card. You pay back to government. Then the other person go come back and get access to that money. That's what we have to do in the way forward. So you don't blame the Okada boys. Now that they try for say. Yeah, definitely. We not they blame the Okada boys. Waiting at the try for say. Uh, right. Um, the program be run for three months. Three months is not yes. sustainable for somebody who don't in a field wherever they do for ten years. So what's gonna be the sustainability process we una be get say okay after three months this is how we're gonna get them involved and blah 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 or na be just for the three months and na make we they see what they see so because if we look at the Okada these guys they created it for themselves then find way for get an employment for themselves and everything was running fine until the ban now where the ban come we can begin everybody where things begin happen because alone we we know they plan prior to stuff. But we always, when the thing happen, now we they begin to talk, say, oh, they want to be ex-combatants then. You know, see how they behave? But when it, it starts, what thing be happen? Where there are no sustainability process after that three months, how we go follow up? The hate for the case is we we'll get what you call exit strategy and sustainability one. Remember I tell you, we work in our Puna country, you they come for, you, you get for the, they want a book man and they go tell you, say, I should say they go listen to you. You get for move from war to negotiate, uh, negotiate peace. When you get peace, then you get to get peace. I go where you get an implementation plan for her. Then from down there, where the peace term done, done, then you can get time limit. Then you get for move to peace consolidation and recovery. Then from recovery, for go sustainable development, most of the donors and the common side. They go say, this country don't count to sustainable development. Salon, bye bye. You remember when Tijan Kaba announced August, January 18, 2002, Naiguna Lunge, eh, 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 Colonel Issa Sise, that's in the food is San Colonel Jeliad, now Issa Sise, Naiguna Tima for RF, they all born, we all born, all the, the arms they all don't collect, now Lunge Airport, we celebrate, say, January 18, 2002, the war done, done. And now, later, we will uh, we'll be telling the young, uh, president, the young, late president Kabasi, yeah, it was good to declare that the war is finished because the international community, they push government, will not be get couple. The reason is because they don't tire, they don't become fatigued, don't know fatigue. Money don't be there for Gandhi family. They say, okay, we are not war done, done. And then they remember, say, for go Liberia, other countries. So they force we, force government at that time, say, pata, pata, we not take over. That is where the trap can catch government. We have to be honest. How do you move from humanitarian to development? Where the government, the real sector, the mining sector, the agriculture sector, the, uh, the, the gold sector, the fisheries, nobody they work. 
So then we think I will quick quick. That's only now come on government said I go sit down as UNDP staff one for F government because we, we get the conceptual and institutional and programming one. I think we don't develop what to call the first generation poverty reduction strategy. Then in 2005, we'll be get that code. Now that document they go, but yes, we go work don't know appetite. The, after the DDR are closed, what in the car put? Government will get over 120,000 unemployed youth straight away. Straight away, government can get and the, the public financial management unit way well, but don't close, they don't close the app work. As I say, the exit strategy will have to be honest. The lesson we don't learn, we will export in other countries and say, no, we not rush DDR. No, we take patient international community and support fragile and conflict affected states like Canada. I see we don't know more. Yes, we begin support, for example, that's anywhere the ONS, we get the security sector reform program. I match with, with British government can do it. We sign memorandum of understanding, 300 million pounds. So now you see the police and so German already above with. We were in London. I was part of that negotiation. We give government can get 300 million pounds with a UK government. Just one bilateral donor can support it. Now how now we get IMAT, We go to conceal self one security sector reform program one two three. 10-year memorandum of understanding with the British government for strengthening the army, the police, the intelligence services, the customs, immigration, and national fire force. We did not do that for DDR because there was no donor. No. So we think our Apple now, then three months program and the bayang bayang, that's what we call it. We can wash with our and quick. Then the donors then go. However, the Okada we don't start, some of them when pay them up, what we call resettlement, insertion. We call it insertion fees, then get it. Now, then, but I get me consider. Now, both Kenya and Madison start and Makin. Even the young cousin, they didn't connect with them, they go buy back, bring and So it started as a source of uh, uh, sustainability for their young, really, and nothing. Because the garage is, well, if not for Gala dying and soap dying, you remember? Gala dying and soap making, now they soap Boku. But one day, village, when I go to train four people, they, they make soap. Would I go buy, would I go sell? So that was the quagmire. So this idea of buy camp, people then are Kenema and Bo, they begin. Go to Makonakri, then they bring them back and they begin to one out of the insertion fees. So they looked at it as a sustainability source, but the exit strategy, how we we'll link DDR, as security sector reform, and youth unemployment, now they will be scrapped. However, what did the UNDP quick, quick, where Victor Angelo and Nasir Asanga will be there, they say, Jonathan, what do you know they do? Now we develop what we call the peace consolidation strategy. We brought $35 million under my auspices. Now, we are the first country where the UN established what you call the Peace Building Fund, the Peace Commission in New York. Sierra Leone will be the first country where we develop, we translate with PRSP, with Security Sector Reform Program, we translate it into what we call the Peace Consolidation Strategy Program. Now, we submit to the UN, we qualify as the first country and we get 35 million straight. But by the same way, that 35 million they come, in fact, the youth unemployment was so hard. That was one reason the SSPT lost their election, because they're not able to satisfy that. Over to you. Okay, so this 35 million, who say you, you last left them? Because. Um, I left them, by the time they come on, now they tell you, we go. That's in the. Uh, um, um, Honorable Mamadou Kouma was foreign minister. Then uh, Professor Joe Pemagdi was the, our permanent rep to the UN. Uh, he was in New York. And then I was head of UNDP governance, justice, and rule of law. And uh, I go, me boss, then I UNDP in Asylum, they say, you go, Frita, go present the peace consolidation strategy. My colleagues, they made the UNDP, now the peace building unit, and call on Chita Kumana Indian. We worked on it. We then, uh, Professor Permagui was with me. We empowered Professor Permagui. He made the presentation at a closed door session with the peace building commission. And that is how we were able to argue. And then we did it. We took ownership. Now, by the time when they negotiated the money for camp, that, that peace conservation strategy means all the area, the, the exit strategy in terms of fiscal sustainability, where government will do uh, for consolidate the peace process that we did it. For example, they amputate them. We were to establish a victim's trust fund for them. And the money they go take, they go buy, buy oil. As we accommodate to burn oil and fit them for lighter. Remember that case where after to be cut? That is where the money, it was the peace consolidation money I left behind in the trust fund. That's what they took. So the mismatch of how do we deal with reparation of victims of the war? Imagine them while they don't cut their hands. We took their money for burn oil. 
So there was prioritization. Mr. The DDR go bought them on unemployed youth. I don't know whether they benefit from that money. By then, me left free town now. Where the money they come for elections, for the war victims, reconciliation, political parties, reform processes. Now the, now the pillar then then they will be left in title. That's when they count to 2007 election. But when it happened by 2006, 90 years, the commander, they transferred me, I go to Bamako, I became a regional director for the UN on peace and governance and small arms program. I did not back my corner with the cover the 16 member states. So the portfolio will be big for me. I don't know how it goes on. So I cannot talk about more fiscal sub but in terms of fiscal sustainability of them processing from this year, we have to link it with the Sierra Leone Peace Consolidation Strategy and the PRSP process in 2005. I was part of that process. We gave the money, we mobilized the money. I don't know. Then the next government will transfer from SRPP to APC. Maybe we will ask more and track what's happened to the 35 million. Were they able to create the necessary job? By now, the DDR for those sustain the residual thing, and the youth unemployment for those candle. Over to you. Okay. Um, I, I believe, say, people are already follow the conversation. Oh, um, so funny that I don't even get called from Guinea. Um, Guinea, you know, they listen, they say they get a lot of people waste, you don't know, then they listen this one we are not Guinea. In the next 20 minutes, as I tell Una, Una, try for call back and I go make Una ask Una question live on air. Una, how they listen to Guinea? I don't get a lot of calls them where they listen all across the world. And I just want for let Una know, say, we go soon open the line, Una go able call, but I want to give preference to the one that they listen to Africa a little. Na big number me the big. They want the way they listen in Africa. We don't call call say they want for take part. Um I want let we can to you understand. Okay, now we they talk about peace building, JPG. Peace building. These people they don't create job for themselves. This na the Okada business. What in a you understand? How you feel say them for be go in banning them and in in creating this kind of hostile situation with them now? What in na you don't take? What you feel say for be don't be the best approach for handle this particular situation now? Well, in, in the first place, uh, the, uh, clearly, we, I don't know whether uh, uh, first of all, if na we approach, uh, uh, actually for the advice government, uh, I don't know. I, I cannot speak for government. Did we do an analysis of what were the problems they were creating down on number one? We know fundamentally the, the, the argument that people they talk about now the incidence of trafficking. I mean, in terms of transport, congestion, traffic, whether they create. Then also, are aware that in terms of, uh, in, in terms of accident, some, some not adhere to the use of uh, uh, element, element, for example. Yeah. Uh, the terrible would be when I'm the user and I both Kedema, for example, when I was many times when I was acting national security coordinator for government at Kabai, President Kabai office, where we meet with the police, the regional police commanders in the what we call the national security coordinating framework, the we they inform the actions based on analysis. I'm sure maybe we need to go back to we call it then a state house, the national security office, the minister of internal affairs, for example. Uh, 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 Honorable Paolo Conte is a member of that committee. I don't know where, how did they take the decision. I think part of the problem we get honestly, not that government doesn't have clear policies sometimes, but the same mistake where the President Kaba and the cabinet they do, now sometimes they do. For example, if I was there, the approach where I could ask my government for do, when when I don't do an analysis, we have what we call the joint assessment team, the national body assess the threat of external, internal threat to public order. Because what I see the approach they have used now is a public order directive. And therefore, before you, um, you ask the police for engaging the public order directive for, for enforce the law, where did we, in terms of public awareness, what we call the whole of government approach to strategic communication and awareness raising, did we give public awareness to the citizens? Did we tell them why we want to ban Okada? We should take at least minimum one month. We don't do that. You have to, this is citizens. You have to tell them why did we say the policy to them and then they say, yes, this is our policy. They have to, you have to induce a process where they will take ownership of the policy. But I think we cannot go to enforce laws or policies without really building what you call political consensus with our citizens. So the approach, if I was there, as a strategic advisor in those days and to government, 
I quick you easily say yes, we don't meet, we don't assess it. The incidence of uh, uh, the incidence of accident as a result of Mukada is high because of so 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 so. The intensity, traffic intensity don't increase. Congestion they happen because of Okada. Then we go, we get expert panel from the police, the military, for Bay College, the conflict study, the drivers association, the bike riders association. Let them take ownership. Now don't say say we can't do that. Now this is not the regulation. Let it be self-regulatory. Self-regulation are the way for go. Then we we'll see the answer. You sit down and we build consensus with them. Then we we'll put down what we call standard operational procedure. Then they will accept that. Then we will give them training and capacity building. And then we we'll don't find out. They say we well, are not passing on another. But did we consult with them? Did we sit with down with them to say to them these are the internal threats to the peace, security, and economic stability? The number of times how I will be lost. But I am not sure. I have to go back home and perhaps Unana, journalist the Ibrahim, ask government, did you sensitize our people? Yes, you did the assessment, but did we make sure that they took ownership of the policy process? Did they take ownership of the self regulation? How did they go regulate themselves? Then they come with a diet. Did we engage into what we call a national dialogue with them? I'm not sure we engage into national dialogue with them. Therefore, the policy implementation, now they get problem right now. So if maybe they, they, the first step was get the assessment right, if the threat tell and say this is not the incident over time, over months, then open telephone lines, they continue to do so, you build consensus, and then naturally you can come to togetherness. Because public, no, we not see ourselves as public civil servant and say now we're there above the master. The, the bike riders, the society, the, the voters, we call them uh, public choice. Now then we master them. Now, Unana, we master them. So we know for they bully them. We for negotiate policies on traffic control with them. I think that's why we have missed our step. Now you don't begin to see that they, then they put checkpoint, then they bomb card because they do, they do not see themselves owning the policy for ban Okada. The policy needs to be negotiated. That is what I used to stimulate. Ask anyone. We're probably college students. Then, uh, uh, I mean, National Union of Sierra Leone Students and Black. Under LACO, he was the student junior president in 2004-05. When they come out for the allowance and this, I call them to state out. If other day they are not finance it, the National Union of Sierra Leone students, they all the strike today, they strike Abraham. They'll be so angry. The first thing we will tell me, when I go buy bread and something for them, they will start to negotiate with them. We can't decide the hit the case day. We are able to resolve it. Now they say resolve on their own. They will care and go them, they call them, they get a foreign minister, then they get LACO was their president. We negotiate and then they all drop down and they're going to get it for them. This is the type of approach as with democracy, the advance we need for the negotiating dialogue with people, not to just quasi force them. Now that approach they need for no use. In okay. terms of, uh, okay. Uh, I, I want to make we, 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 we look at this issue a little. Okay. Now the people, them, where they take transport, the people, the way they take transport, they say they need their Okada back. The people that where they take transport, they say um, the taxis, the poda poda, they don't hike price because those areas then where they don't block Okada, the Okada be don't lessen how the demand be there for taxi and poda poda. Now the people that we get mutoka, they say they don't want Okada back in other areas then they. So this is where the 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 the, the issue they because at one hand. The one that we get Motuka no not want Okada because then they see him for traffic. The other hand, the one that we no get Motuka, they feel say Okada fast. It can make them reach side the one go before you know it without stalking traffic and, and even though it can within your own risk. But everything in life gets risk. So now this ban don't take place. Now you don't know a little about waiting the ban don't bring at the table. We see how these people, like I said, tell you earlier, then so fast for organize themselves and do because we know what they're capable of doing. Now this thing has happened. Let us say na mistake. What thing you feel say na the way forward? Now, yes, you don't talk about um do assessment and make um ownership or what not. But I bet they're listening. What do you feel say for be the next approach? Let us say what thing may happen a mistake. How how they gonna fix it? You know, you know, we to make uh, this, that, this, you know, I like waiting the opposites, but not that, you know, but we all don't work on national and regional security threats. We know, say, we're going to take care of 
the Nafofen solution to work quick. As I say, we have to engage them back into the negotiation table. We therefore call them, not to for begin knock them and harass them. We therefore quiet diplomacy and dialogue. And this is politics. It is also about livelihood. Some of them, but they don't track. Right now, in office now, uh, uh, 69 Victoria Street, uh, we campaign for national. Some of the students, they will get there and get back there. The reason is some man on come on upline, check people, the, 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 the access to education. Some man they be to my guy, some man they to be college, some man they a jala, some man they IPAM. The source, the source of sustenance, na bike, Okada. I have them. Bo Keneman, I'm telling you, part of our international remittances, Monio will send back home. So then they say, hey, brother, if you send this, I get this bike, I go for the pay, get me lunch, I they go, I they buy books, I they make me pamphlet. So we look, have to look at what we call the cost benefit analysis of Prudentia. Nameka, they say, Sierra Leone, you remember waiting, that last conversation we get, we will be brought na, uh, uh, na, na, you remember na, na London, where it called. They say, one thing we will not learn in other countries, the way all countries in democracy where they improve, now research and development. How research, analysis, assessment, the support, evidence-based policy development. We, we will try, we don't spend, have we spent more time, not just in our book, 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 moment, and man and say, hey, I want to that book. No, we know that most of the work that will be there with Tijan Kaba will be the informed, rational, executive decision with the book, book. We will not, not make mistakes better. It's the same as you know, yeah. Because from negotiate peace agreement, take bring and come to, to a, a humanitarian, that is recovery, a link and to development. Man, not the king work down the, the software. For do a software work, ask anybody, the intellectual capital, I did the problem there. Hardware for make it easy. Not But now, the, for way back, right, as they had the pull in a speech, you get to go negotiate with them. You get to, first of all, try to do an analysis to understand what is the cost of this hazard than they do. What is the benefit they get out of it? I don't just tell you, me all day as well, I don't do an analysis, I don't say, but who of them unemployed you said the way they could be college with my guy or this? It is not only a livelihood, but in the user for buy them books and then get and launch them, which is very critical. Number two, when you say uh, the bourgeoisies, we own the bourgeoisies, now then, why we get Motoka? Because I see alone, Motoka not to opportunity, because not to pick in the driver. We say, okay, the, the buy them for, we for ban them because then they obstruct them with to carry them. That's fine. But now government is in a strategic dilemma. That's what I'm saying. Why analysis is important. We call it strategic dilemma. Do I go to support the bourgeoisie class, the middle income class or the high class, and let the ordinary student where they work there? That's the dilemma for them. So how can you make a policy where only they support the bourgeoisie? That is why income inequality, the reason why they say we get for be careful with everybody else, so, hey, the man. Now, I don't work in Somalia, I don't work in Libya, I don't work in terror then they. The project where they work on that, they call them preventing violent extremism in Africa. Now, 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 now Abidjan, and they don't go hit with them. Abidjan, uh, uh, Al-Qaeda in the Madrid, they call Abidjan, they don't hit Grand Bazaar. Now across the border, now the same way Ebola passed, now Matantana, Guinea, now you can boss with Africa. Sorry for the language. So these boys, the former ex combatants then get the skills and ability for play with guns. Like when you see no more, we then quickly can go reorganize this. Said, yes! So they might not have their guns in their hand, we have mobilized them through DDR, but they have the skills at least to operate at AK-47. If they don't have jobs, we take the Okada from them. Then we don't have alternative job right now for Gideon. Why do you ask yourself, if Papa got sorry for we, if Bola Kai don't pass, if they get access, we know that radicalization is linked to transnationalization. ISIS, Boko Haram, uh, uh, Al-Qaeda, and Shabab, they are linked together. And waiting in the form for easy access of recruitment, these boys are vulnerable to us. They are rich. The youth and students in that country, lack of unemployment, they are rich to link to radicalization, transnational organized crime and violent extremism. The Okada case is just a case in point. So we really need to be careful how we can look the risk assessment of dealing with this unemployed youth so that they don't become vulnerable and attracted to external threats such as international terrorism. So therefore, if I was government, 
call them, understand the issues, the cost benefit analysis, and outweigh and negotiate with them, say, okay, when I decide who's on a one for pass, who's on a for pass, when I for put on an element their own, when I for make sure when I get to a flyer, say, no, risk the life of that poor woman who has to not go caught by bike. Those are the issues you have to do. We should not use the, our, our police way the force for good, my colleagues, for enforce the law no more, but we we'll get for negotiate public relations with spokespeople with one line, one strategy, the whole of government communication strategy, and then you go able to link that. Then the government will do. Then at the same time, in the medium to long term, we for defend the National Youth Commission, they will left there with my brother Anthony Kuroma, the manager now. Nene is look at other alternative opportunities for these boys. Some of the way they go college, for example. If you say they left the Okada team, do they have access to microcredit financing for make small tables here, for make a uh, little and nothing they can? Do they have access to loan at the bank for pay their school fees? Now, last month or two months ago, I even drive them at Fobe College. Look me next to there under Daniel Sifoy. Daniel Sifoy called me and said, Uncle, they don't drive with Mohammed Fabai in my office. All them boys and then they the peace conflict studying at Fobe College in my office that day. Then they put pressure for we because they don't get access to loans. They don't get Boku Diamond and Fish Free. Let us put some money in terms of a trust fund so that then for they have one pool and then we'll get access to education and grants. And then they're able to pay their school fees. When they're done, we link her into them for payback. Because morality in education also means that if you don't take school fees, you don't pay now for college. Where them reach, where they work now, like I now, after they pay all the money, although they pay, we all for the payback. So that that trust funding for education will be sustainable. So if you tell me the link between Okada and education development can be sustained by making sure that we to get from the root side, we to get from box side, we iron ore, we put on a bank, then the bobo then will get access to loan, then that loan then then go use for education, then then have to pay college, then then go left the Okada thing, then not go be rich to society. So there are multiple alternative economic opportunities we can bring for them to think through. But that can be informed by super research for informed evidence-based policy in other countries. Over to you. Okay, thank you very much. And um, I believe, say, we don't expand this Okada business small, and we don't talk about the peace building. Why the Okada come in? Because today, family, we they talk about peace building. Now we they come to the second part. The second part where we they talk about today, now the electoral democracy in Sierra Leone. I want to make you give we an overview, just an overview on that particular topic the the electoral democracy in a salon yes but well, i think see, that's that's an interesting one again election and democracy and you know we say i'm like for that i say you know say electoral democracy is a big one when i say electoral democracy and a democracy with the government by the people and for the people based on elections especially in the case the multi-party elections now we carry on a salon that are the big, now the head for the case that. The good news is, as you know, when you put them between peace building context, now I tell you, foreign assistance, or we don't they bring their money, the way that they see, say, peace not sustain or peace they come and country, one of the indication, the indicator of them, now elections. In other words, in terms of electoral democracy, has this country, on the African continent, or Australia in this country, how many elections after the war where the peace agreement they don't sign, where Salon don't conduct? Were, were they peaceful? Were they free fear? Were they transparent? Were they accountable? Now the indicators, the principles of Dan they would mention. If you watch the first election where the peace the Lome Peace Agreement be signed nineteen ninety nine, the first election we'll get now be two thousand and two. So late President Kaba was the party uh, I mean First of all, by 1996, now we get electoral democracy. Immediately, we, we move from the days of NPRC, and then we move to uh, 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 late President Kaba won the election in 1996 under the principle of electoral democracy. And then we went to a second round. We a bit uh, 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 UNPP leader at that time, uh, Dr. Kerifa Smart. That's the trajectory. Now, you come on 1996, the next election we can get after the peace building stuff was the 2002 election. And uh, it is clear that with the Sierra Leoneans demonstrated that, yes, the DDR was over, the guns were over, and 70% uh, of the vote uh, uh, led Dr. Tijan Kaba winner. So, in other words, we have found that 
electoral democracy in terms of elect democracy by multi-party elections is working. Now you come on it back because 2007, for the first time you see the ruling party, whether on Yagba, don't bring peace and this, the, the opposition can't win. Is that not the best practice? It's the best practice in the world. We have moved towards electoral democracy, the principles of his work in terms of free answer. Otherwise, the Sierra Leone People's Party will be done to do the dirty work. You go agree with me, they're not for the handover. But the fact that they handed over peacefully, based on electoral democracy, that the democracy, the elections, the democracy will be practiced now based on people's legit legitimizing that process. In other words, legitimizing a fundamental principle apart from accountability, fear, and fear. So the people gave, and I tell you for sure, me have no say it was going to be difficult because free to not be the light last Sunday. People like lie, 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 say uh, the the ruling party at that time lost. But basically, we did not deliver services like electricity. Electricity not being at home, and the people that did not do work, they wanted cold water, they want that. No, it wasn't there. The jobs were not there. We just spoke about DDR. Youth unemployment rose to 120,000 ex combatants. We said the, the peace consolidation certified, you know, a late for camp. So then catch them. So then catch them. Then the delivery of basic services were not there, and corruption was high. We have to be honest. So they lost. So the people, democracy, now I mean by electoral democracy, elections by the people, based on what they call public choice, the choice of the people. So, in other words, if they measure what they don't come up, the nature and type of elections they would not conduct from 1996 to 2007 and 2012, they, been, they have been successful. Now, best practice of the country, if you are one of the country who don't adhere to term limit, by the 1991 constitution, section 146 says, now, two term, any president for the president Tijankaba can do two term, then it does. President Komas and Akai they can go. I think we have a model place. But Usa will get problem now. If you ask me, say, this electoral democratic principles are all the practice. It don't deliver the goods. It's income inequality still, economic opportunities for the people. The Okada boys are they satisfied? Are we seeing the benefits of electoral democracy? Yes, with the change government, elections, they go find the International Committee Observers and Variety Party, but yet income inequality, poverty, still the prevent. So for us, we said, is the election the answer? That's where one of the reasons we found out that we in the campaign for national unity team with the work on political parties, we found out that all the uh, peace building efforts we will do, we, we make NASIT. ONS, the function, the anti-corruption, the function, the Sierra Leone police, uh, police reform, the work, military, the work, the National Privatization Committee, Commission, the work, uh, uh, investment appraiser, the diamond sector, all those sectors are working. Well, yet, the principal agent of change, way for change, way for work with all institutions, the political parties, we don't lack there. The international community and the government there, not able for reform them political parties. Then. And then when they did, when they win election member, whether they're in opposition or they win election, now then therefore they're in charge of coordinating strategically and developing policy for make sure that then democratic institution and they will the peace building accord or the national constitution make provision that they're in charge. Now they will not left there. All now with man one church political party. They say, no, that's not our own business. Right now, if you ask any donor UN, they go put you up for opposition parties. Oh, the ruling government will watch you. No, it should not be that case. This is where we will go to, as principal founder, I have been talking to the ruling party. Thank God some of them are miscommits them. When are they can go to so the Minister of uh, Political Affairs? I'm going to miss her. Honorable Nanet Thomas, are they go tell us, look, if we not begin to spend PPRC, look them budget in only 125 million euros. Less than $20,000 for the whole year. I saw the annual work plan. We have an MOU with them. And they saw it for Tola Thompson here, Joseph there. Josephine and, 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 and the registrar. They all in budget and say, sir, I can't look at budget. And I say, no, I'll go. I'll go begin to look for us. So we'll get a couple for can't help on alone. Are they under uh, section 34, subsection 34 and 35, that national constitution will go to power for build and regulate the conduct of the 11 political parties we're going to talk. Some political parties, they look starting at, under Article 3 uh, uh, to 7. Now, it's about governance reform. Now, the Lone Peace Agreement. The only clause we did is say, we for F, government at that time for F, for need to transform every to a political party. 
How about transform area to look at area? I'm sorry for the argument. Table set the nugget. Did we reform it? So that is where we start. What about you? If you go to the Sierra Leone People's Party, you go to PMDC, you go to the. They don't have it. We are not focused on that. We accept that. And the, the electoral democracy will get people that believe, say, where Abraham, you want to be a, a, a president? Are you for spending all your money? No, we should be institutional approach. We will focus on the design and reform of them party. Then then will serve the purpose for which you put them. But we are not focused on it. Now, I said, you wait till we research, don't find out. One. Then party then do it, so right now then they so whether they are in ruling or they're in the opposition, well we'll pay some of the lessons and the challenges they get structural and operational. They not get strategic action plan. The planning process. Go ask the young people's party. We just do an issue based perception study for them. Questionnaire, we go bishop from our phone, we go this city to this to implement them. We analyze them all online and that what we call political party issue based perception understanding. What to find out? The membership act for the party then. They. Do you know that Nada Tongue, some man they where they, they get party card, they, they get seven party card. One person, I don't get a sample size, <laughs> one Trayona has seven party cards. Yes, we get out of the record. I'm not going to show the name that public. Abraham, you know what you make the, they get that? It's either AK 47 as I say, I'm be the meal ticket. Now, now party card, then a meal ticket for people there. When they not get work, what they, they do is, just go register in a seven party. This uh, certain section of the National Constitution, 1995, 1991, says freedom of association. So you can go register now. Right now, as you don't say, hey, my not be go work. I go register now. All the eleven parties, there, I get a card. There. What did they do? Where is the bribe over there? Where you go no more? Like now, the electoral cycle they come from 2015 to 18. I've no say Abraham for go to for MP in my village or that on a party. As a man in the whether APC or SLP, now the identity. Political parties have become the identity of some big adults and people. So if you get your party card, if you, again, we may want APC party card, and then go to and say, eh, by Abraham, I say, if I see you around APC party office, I go pull the card. I say, better not do. Me and the party card member, this is, and you are looking for vote. You go must pull 1,000, 2,000, get that person. Get that person, they work out from uh, Bookfield, they go to the SLPP party office. Then go to map around there and watch for big people who want for to map election. They pull in the SLPP party card. A knack. We call them mapping. A map you the back. They go there. They go to the UNPP, NUP, UNPP office. They pull in party card. They go to the area. They have, we have investigated. Party cards have become plurated. People are surviving. The survival strategy is not AK 47 again, but now the use of membership party card. Meaning, all the parties in the, the membership card has to be. Regulated and the way for do that now for see how we establish biometric system, harmonized biometric system. When you register with them political party, like when I do in America, you system, you fingerprint, you airbrush, and we are members, so I don't go and call them party card business. They don't come for some members and some political party. So when I investigated, how do we improve the database system for the political parties, the membership, the the, the collaboration? This is one thing we want to support the political party registration commission to work with all the eleven political parties to make sure that the database, the registration system, then get everybody in card, but that we put that in an electronic way, a biometric way, just like we would establish a uh, voter register. So that if we know say Abraham now na SFP they you know we cross carpet will harmonize that like we can do, they will not say this one against seven party card, it is used for meal ticket. That is one area we have to go. Number three area we also find out say that political party, the way that they perform the internal election, which is the electoral, internal electoral democracy, is not free and fair. For example, some of them constitutions, they say they for elect people then at the Zuna constituency, district, or regional level based on what they call consensus model. That is not an election, that is selection. Is it is it democratic? No. Democracy, electoral democracy says voting by the people, by the people, the voice. It has to be inclusive. You cannot go and select by cons consensus. So at what, at what point do we improve that approach so that they will adhere to electoral democratic principles where everybody they vote? Consensus voting, consensus voting is not election. It's not election, it's selection. Then so then get uh, uh, yeah, then get selection model, then get consensus. I won't call the parties. But all the parties and character, we found out that the way then they do the internal elections, then they go pick them parties. Sometimes it can be by nepotism, 
it can be by uh, favoritism, whether I know if I get my brother and sister, I go put down uh, some district and constituency level, then now you do you do develop. Then you can find out even members of parliament, constituency chairman, are the process of electing people internally is can easily be described as independent and neutral, adhere to the principles of good governance or democratic governance. No. So we need to improve the way that they do election. Like now, they, you say some of the parties in the country, they lower tier election. How are they going to? It's going to be done in a transparent, accountable, free and mere manner where people and they go vote. That's another dilemma some of the parties have. We have to look at that. Number four, then funding. Financial resource mobilization and that. Most of them, they, they, they read the political parties. Go now them back there. No, because when they say, and say, after all, you know, I mean, honestly, we need to, what I'm saying is, as part of peace building process, Political parties, political and economic, political reforms have been advanced through elections, but economic reforms obviously would be bad because job creation. But then political systems and elections, the way the parties, the 11 political parties who get at all, then they function and operate, we therefore look at them and ensure that we engage in institutional reforms, make sure that even a strategic plan should be consistent with the national electoral cycle. Like, for example, if I ask about people that they talk to now, the national electoral cycle and some of people, they don't know. It starts from 2015 last year, that that the by-election, November 14, 2015, to 2018. So in that process, from 2018, how many elections a national government get for do based on the Electoral Act 2020, 2012, and then the activity, political boundary demarcation, we don't do censors, we don't this, they can't go now to a way there. So you can find out say, the candidate way, the election way for come November, let go for them concentrate on November by election. Yes, the, the way of the money campaign, flag the idea or they are over to for election 2018, then they can't overshadow the one they were for Timar for local councillors or by election for MPs and that. So the political parties, in terms of managing sequencing and prioritization of how they for win election based on the candidates they wouldn't feed in, whether or not for, for, for. I think APC gets it right. What did they call them for? They are very strategic. For the study we'll do, we found out that the one party where they feed in candidates, political aspirants, based on the nature and type of electoral cycle that they country in APC. Then consistent, they no say they get, they found a one party where they get an electoral unit. None of the other parties, they not get special electoral units where they manage electoral process. Electoral process are two phases. Phase one, the administration. Phase two, now the how for conduct the election so that you go get the outcome for the candidate win. And no candidate they win, not in one candidate. The election will get for count 20, 2018, now for four, four we call it. It means you forget councillor, you forget chairman of the council, you forget mayor of the city, then you forget the uh, MP and the president. So what is it that does the political party has the institutional capacity for needing support administratively for the Abraham Go winner in country, whether I want to be MP or this. How, in that process, you guys will get a strategic annual plan or thing, which they sequence whose election they will support, how go allocate symbol for particular by election. But at the moment, some of most of the parties there, not the campaign based on the electoral side. Therefore, then they put pressure upon the police in terms of election security management, a problem, because for control, the number of candidates, you obstruct government, so all of that we have to help training and capacity building of those parties. The administrative officers, then the one that they serve the political parties at the headquarters, they're not trained, they're not got computer skills, they're not about it and they do. I mean, they know it and they do. Even their pension scheme, when they retire from their party, then they, if you don't have a secretary, you know, a secretary to their party, then they, they don't have any life or pension scheme from a social protection. Now stop this. Okay, yes, Fambula, if you just the tune in, um, we will talk about peace building and electoral democracy in a salon. We will not address the part of peace building. Now we, um, JPJ, Jonathan Sandy, he just give you an overview of electoral democracy. Okay, now, in depth, I want to start with SLPP. And we know what in the go on. It's no, no secret, say, um, uh, SLPP gets a lot of infighting. And we see the latest one will happen. We they invite, then give invites, and give letters. People then go. People 
where they vie for be president of the country, then go, then lock the mots for them, and then they ask them, say, okay, the list don't change, even though they all let an and they and say, yes, now we invite me. We are talking about electoral democracy. And if you watch SLPP a little, you go find out, say, they have no say against the government. They have no say against the ruling government because they are just busy fighting, whereas APC is just their ruling, cruising around with the people. Them. Whereas the people away for standards policemen, we for get checks and balances, then busy the fetch themselves. So how electoral democracy play in this particular situation with SLPP? Yes, it's what I, 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 I'm thank you for that question, Eleka. I tell you, Abraham, we get for airplane political party then. But now I start with CLM People's Party because uh, now one of the pilot projects that we campaign for unity through Bishop Pompa and others. As I say, we will begin work with PPRC and uh, my organization with uh, 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 SLPP because I know they talk about what well, the USDP because I know they put on the UN hat here. They talk like principal founder of the uh, campaign for national unity working on political party reform and elections. And so say part of the challenge where the SLPP get, one, first of all, 2030, I believe. Um, Fabule, we saw you. We don't lost JPJ, but we'll get him back on board. Just stay tuned. we go get him right back on board. Yes, Fabule, we saw you, but we don't get JPJ again. Um, JPJ, you did it. Yeah, they didn't ask him, brother. They yes, um, a conversation. yeah, definitely. We sorry, we we lost JPJ um um just a minute ago, but we don't get him back. And uh, um, it go come start right again. Usai, we left that question day where I be asked about the SLPP and waiting the go on day with the electoral democracy. Yes, we saw you, JPJ, but you can take him right from the start again, please. Yes, as I say, one of the lessons we will, we will identify is the manner in which SLPP currently they manage the administration, they manage the uh, party. They, first of all, we notice they do not get any strategic plan and process in place. In other words, what do you mean by strategic plan and process? Eh? The strategic plan and process where political parties they forget, especially in the case of the SLPP in this case, why I say they do not get one, that strategic plan day, now, if it will be based within the context, and what is the context? I just mentioned it. The context is the question they ask is when is what is the current national electoral cycle? Whose term the government or salon they do elections? That is national elections then for start as I say now November last year. Now it start 2015 to 2018. Almost election will get forgetting. Now that first the strategic plan in the tell board. And nine for inform that which we get for do for win the election. Remember I ask you say, if me want to join any political party, the first question I ask me say, why do I want to go into that party to be an aspirant? Why do I want to invest into that party? I want to invest because I will win. But do I trust that party administratively for win for me? Because you the candidate, whether a local council election presidential parliamentary, you get for chance, now the party get for campaign for you. But if the party not organized or not get strategic plan in order, then I won. So the thing we found out say, the currently we need to help the Sierra uh, Leone People's Party to get a real either in the medium to long term for get a clear Korean strategic uh, action plan when a three years from now because twenty sixteen to twenty eighteen are three years from now. Meaning all it will be consistent with the ongoing national electoral cycle. And the national electoral cycle, as I said to you, it started in 2015-2018. The winner of the election. The election in now one, the by-election. We see say, November 14, Boku by-election will take place. Then from there, right now, as they tell you, while the by-election is not boss, the constituency 001, the Kailao district, may he so rest in peace, may former boss, uh, uh, Honorable Patrick Foya, will be the Office of National Security, he don't die. So they get for replace her. I know say Potloko, other uh, um, ADP, SLPP, and APC don't put candidate up. Yes, you pro, you they get your strategic action plan and uh, plan for so make provision for by election in case anything can happen any any other. 
So that is one area, by election. When you come up to by election, you say, oh, hmm. now four years, 2012, nine will be due the last election of 444. But that 2012 day, the local government act, say, election for local councils or local government mayor of the city, now after every four years. Meaning, by now, this 2016, while lying, Abraham, who for the register for go uh, 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 December, November, December this year, four years from now, now we we'll for the register for go local council election. Okay, but I want all you day. I want all you under. No, I they ask you for that. They are, do you have the camp? We don't, <laughs> anybody they talk about local council election. No, okay, exactly. No. The point is because the they point say, is. they yeah. say because of the census. So I just want to look inside it as you they continue. You ask the question, I don't answer you. They never talk about time. They say because the census be don't expire, so they have to do a new count for make them go able to start that day. So you can continue, sir. My brother, census report, they even the don't come on. They hate to indicate to the contestant right now. But what we do, and remember, the census is so broad, not so for just elections. Part of me, me, me academic career. I mean, academic work, what else would they call it? And they would say, on us too, I do demography. I study as part of my economics. The demography, now they deal with population. So we go to population model for do, because now population density, now you, you get a formula you put in, now where you, where you work, work and now they come up and determine the political boundary. That was what they call constituency political boundary. That's what they determine. However, you can count people there, whether 10 years don't pass or not, you can still use that when you come to the big national elections, you, but you can still use the whole data that you get what you call extrapolation, and you compensate for. Statistician, probability analysis, demographers, and they do one, then get the, in fact, which man don't get now the software for that. So if the data there, if it's only because population census, as you see, in the medium to long term, I will support socioeconomic development. So in a small aspect of it, would they use for politics, I mean for elections. But now, everybody in the they see, as they say population system, buy, not for elections. No. So if we want to focus really, say this population census, uh, the last one when I was really well published in 2004, as you know, we support the 2007 election and 2012. Is that population census, can we use that a discussion now they say the dialogue? with the nation. We have not used to. We are using more institutional approach. We they go more to we serve as civil servant there, bring political parties. We close the political space for the citizens. The citizens, are they aware that we can see if the citizens say, okay, for local council election 2016, especially in post Ebola recovery, we have to improve uh, public health clinics, not the, not the constituency, not the district, but we need to change our political system because we are not sure of the local government councils there. They will be consistent with the local government act. Well, now you can still use the, 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 the data we'll get. Why would they argue for finalizing the, the, the 20, 2015 population census data for mid 2018? So we will have, if that dialogue be can with everybody, nationally, we research, we will be can with the civil society in can, we all work together and say, no, we're not for change this calendar. The essence of a population census, now for use the same data, small bit, for define political boundaries. But in this case, for local council elections, are we going to define political boundaries, my brother? We already have the local councils, they are 19. But the act say four years, they for go for appoint mayor of the city, for go for appoint the chairman of the local council, the 19, they for go for appoint local councillors. Why is they for appoint them? Now they get for deliver basic services in the communities. In post Ebola recovery, for accelerate the the implementation of the almost hundred dollar may government don't get for big public health clinic, schools, education, for accelerate and for catch up back, make sure that the economic sector, the agricultural sector, the kick up back will not for neglect that policy of decentralization devolution to the local council. The local councils will be there, we replace them and make sure that their job is not to talk about national policies and that but delivery of basic services. They come at implementation. Now we don't get a national Ebola recovery strategy. Who is implementing them? So does that have to say we wait until 
then make 444? Does the population census determine the number of local councils there? Are we going to change the number of councils after the population census don't come up? Let's be fair. But there was no dialogue. No political party, opposition in particular, is not talking about that. We all focus on campaign for who that will be president. Over centralization, that now we focus. So now we self interest we put before the people. It's about sequencing and prioritization of how we manage the people and believe, deliver basic services to them. So okay. my point is we miss them. The census, we can still use the 2005 census for do. I don't know if it's a census record. There anything for do to centrally for postpone uh, local council election. We should have used that and then we make sure say we consistent with our electoral democracy so that the new uh, uh, um, people that will get now their local council then they then we're able to deliver the post the, the national post Ebola recovery uh, program. But now I don't think they are too engaged. We are all staying, let them stay there. They don't buy time. No push them to twenty eighteen. If not myself, well lie, I will agree. But as the citizen are the citizen aware that they have to question. Okay, I wanna make we take no. our I want to make you take a, a quick break now, yeah? and family, you know, yeah. listen, um, you go get the opportunity for calling now, ask your question, make your own contribution. Um, the number for call now zero zero one, that's the country code. The number now six four six six one zero three one zero seven. The number again now six four six six one zero three one zero seven. That number they did na all the other medium them we if you want na email WhatsApp Viber you can call the number or you can also call the studio line we na four six nine four four three six one seven six we go take a quick break and we go come and continue the conversation but the lines they open now would I want call and make contribution or ask question you can do so now. <laughs> Yes, if you just the tune in, this is not the one pot show on Sierra Network Radio. Corrupt, and this is not the voice of AAA. The possible will you be the listening to just now, not Jonathan Sandy. When, you see so clever, you no when I was special guest for today. The song say you corrupt me, corrupt, we all corrupt. Do you agree? I want to tell me people them now so long. Say corruption don't eat we now we soul. They say corruption don't eat we now we soul. Proclama sasa te you can don't know freedom. Since we want every day go back na ground. Corruption go de is a we blow. Not true. When you listen this thing where they sing. You for change your mind and start for a big thing. Make we country take. Politics come inside and make we begin split. After 50 years, we found out we know fit. For all power, because we all not cheat. When they gain power by tribal politics, I say, I'm corrupt. You corrupt, we all corrupt. They corrupt, they corrupt, Sierra Leone corrupt. I corrupt, you corrupt, we all corrupt. And because of that, because now we make up Sierra Leone, then Salon self corrupt. Now, Jamil, be the pay with salary. Because the government be not tip all the money. 
Les papis c'est où ça y'a un caca mais qui hit Les c'est papa il y a ce docteur qui est piscine Na ta tende we all be keep for sin We make papa go to say bon a we pan we We make a corrupt You corrupt we all corrupt They corrupt They corrupt Sierra Leone corrupt The man get to my way they make pot when my house They make sure you have a pay and get a goal or not They keep it jelly and call them coconut They go tell you say not to deny the force They put your money and I tell you not the force We will go and pound when they make you ever lost They experience you want for make a cost We make a not able for even sing me song that say They go wrong, they go wrong, they are young She a walk two hundred thousand every month. He get to motor car we pack na into months. He build the house for one hundred thousand pound. Call the corruption we we defeat na the stone. When he see don't nobody drink and they drunk. He bust the hang mods the marvel at him what? When you get man for this money we blast we all. You no get one more week for all in a free town because they corrupt, they corrupt, they all corrupt. You go by ferry for we Then to ferry from you up take and water key Ferry end up now one country in dock It take two years before ferry able to walk Some people celebrate with fear and if I swing The money where they jump not to take for talk They make full one they all they jump for joy Because they think we all are more cool now this six weeks Cause they corrupt, they corrupt, they all corrupt Yes, we get to a first caller it is call from Konakri, Guinea. Yes, caller, what is your name and who are you the call from? I call from Konakri, my name is Samuel Kagbo. Yes, Samuel Kagbo, what is your contribution to this program? I call to send a campaign for national unity. And one of the things that we want to bring to life about Saloon, you know, when you talk about Saloon, it's all my business, it's all business. And uh, we want to know with the new constitutional reforms so what they do in the salon, the review constitutional reforms, why do they make provision for Sierra Leoneans so they in the diaspora? For example, when you can't inside Guinea, they meet a whole lot of Sierra Leoneans so they have to. But when you come by election, pass with the whole salon to go vote, where they cost a lot of money, some of who they do are privately, the 30 Sierra Leoneans so they put this hand at their pocket for go vote. But the Guineans so will just take a small example but the Guineans so within Naya. Then they vote all side, any Guinean way they outside of Guinea, they vote in the country where they did and get the embassy the way they vote. We don't know what in Salon constitution they do for that. For the Sierra Leoneans they in the diaspora. Then I want. Then two, I want to bring light to the political parties then. Where then they around the SLPT, the APC, all of them. especially the way we see in Guinea, we're very active. Like the SLPP and the APC, we never see better structures. All the thing about the political parties, in fact, when they talk one, they are in a guinea now, so they never get office, they never get statistics about the people away, then join them party. Everything just in them is functioning. They don't function well, so we see them as a strong or a coherent political party. So some of the issues, are, there are a lot of the issues they will for deal with, but particularly when we didn't decide, now one of the things in the one in the who wanted the address, no know how they will get for, you know. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, caller from Guinea. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, JPJ, you hear you with talk, you talk about the voting from diaspora and the structures of political party, more especially in a Guinea, who sign base. What do you get for say towards this? Yeah, thank you very much, um, uh, uh, Mr. Samuel Kavu. In fact, we can call him Unified uh, Samuel Kavu. He is our somewhere at the uh, national the coordinator at Guinea for the programs that they do campaign for national unity Guinea branch. Member say uh, um, Abraham uh, and day campaign for unity members and uh, Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora uh, somewhere come, somewhere Cabo now in the airport for make sure say we the campaign around the call for national unity and social cohesion and reconciliation. Now then they promote and so I want to start for 
tell Amboku thank you. And I know say Agun they all did the the APC leader them uh, APC they all did it because we all as you know the terrorist and the sludge uh, government we all be the Konak. We know uh, whether that refugee camp them, whether na in fact we had a concept called externally displaced people na Bellevue, Amdalai, Bambetu. So there are a lot of Sierra Leoneans in Guinea. I agree with uh, someone. You go Liberia and are the same. We can tend for us say uh, diaspora Sierra Leoneans the in Burkina, America in particular, or London, but we can tell for forget it, even in terms of cross border. Where you call Balamoya, you go Mapotolo, Kichom, Yeriboya, Kasiri, Rosinio, Mayoro, Mahela, all those places, in fact, they never use Sierra Leone money loans. Now, Frank I didn't they use it. I used to work in those fishes community close to Guinea. So there are a lot of them there. What you can do normally is uh, 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 some cargo rights. Where people then turn each for voter registration, pass people that they come to Liberia on the border, they can't kind of push or go for go for go register. The same they happen at uh, uh, Guinea Conakry. But what is in say where it gets to more is that the Guineans then the diaspora, any survey they now that they want their constitution make provision for them. I see now too. August last year while they talk. Now, we can see what Usai Guinea, opposite that uh, uh, Shell or, or Petco station, now we can see what Usai call me on Shell tell day. Now, they Guinea embassy day. I see with me on Koloko, I wear Guineans there. If I had even one strike for the ambassador, they say, then ballot box, then paper, then all flies, and they shall be just flying with us for camp for them. And then with National Electoral Commission, now salute, then go help them for administer that. So it's cost effective. In other words, the question waiting in the talk, we campaign for national will be they develop what we call issues of relevant or concern as uh, for the ongoing national constitutional review process. We do an assessment and we'll make sure see, one of the diaspora strategies will they right now advocate for in the call for national unity and reconciliation. Now, the diaspora strategy now for need and create the constitutional space under election electoral democracy so that all we people that Abraham you said no for the common take two thousand or more dollar buy ticket for go come on America just for go vote in Africa. We are advocating <laughs> for that and we don't talk no, we don't turn me and the Bobo and the students and you say they get for parade in Africa before the referendum. For next with what I see the Guinea, then in Liberia, then in the sub region, then in America, then in London. Nairobi, Kenya, also the name and the vote to say the ambassador. Did. And we know a model in Africa. Look at Ghana. Look like other Guinea, that's where they talk. So, you know, it costs effect. They say, oh, the money, but no. What do other countries then they do under the African Union protocol on good governance, democracy, and the ECOWAS protocol? What do the other members, the best practice now? Just manufacture the ballot papers, put on a DHS. Now, that don't want to be costed. But any people that go register at the embassy, however, not to the embassy staff, they no more. You therefore put with one or two staff, then. But in terms of regionalism, take the ballot box in a salon, independent national electoral commission. <laughs> Yes, we lost JPJ again. We sorry about that. But just relax. Keep your questions then coming. And we go soon get them on board again. You corrupt, we all corrupt. Yes, we sorry about that and we don't get JPJ again. And we get a caller on the line. Yes, caller, waiting on your name and who say you the call from. Yeah, uh, my name is Patrice Foyer, and I call from Columbus, Ohio. I'm the editor of Marconi Times newspaper. And I don't listen to JPJ, and he make a very, very good points. Then he put very good points in my course. But my question is, um, you know, address impunity. Because you get alone, where you get the big people away, they commit the most grievous crimes. Then they get away with it. But then ready for chase Okada driver and ready for beat sports with the market market, still in killer. So what do you feel say impunity got for do with peace building in a salon? Yes, JPJ. 
Yeah, but if we brother Abdu or Abdu, they brother Nemi, as, as I say, one of the way they negotiate peace uh, agreement, one of the sections that we particular uh, way, Nalome, we did it. Now, how for dealing with transitional justice and judicial reform? The terror within our government, particularly, if you remember, uh, for you, it's clear that, in fact, you know what's in our government. I mean, the peace agreement, not to one government take ownership. Now, the people of Sierra Leone, their peace agreement, and not what's in our SLPP or APC or this. Now, we all, because the entire religious group, you remember, uh, Patrick, they play very good role for, I mean, this is why the model therefore they use for resolve as Shabab and others, we they use the model where Christian and Muslim then are free tongue then come together through the CCSA interreligious entity where, where they try for deal with uh, uh, and then issue where they do with um, uh, um, religious conflict, you know. So coming back to what you they say, so in terms of legal and policy framework, peace building, that was the provision in the peace agreement. All the three peace agreements. How for deal with impunity. And the way we say for deal with impunity, the first aspect now for establish the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. So that was, now I make, if you watch campaign for national unity for you, please help me propagate this in order. Patrick. Bishop, uh, Ompa a vision I for... No, um, reference yeah, to impunities now what's in the happen presently would only would only be seen what's happened within the world yeah no the yeah, they talk, but now they start with what but, 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 let me finish please we got people like paulo and country no vex, no vex, vex, no vex. Vex. what did they go against other people know, and then they get away with what they do so what's not the what's not the justification and if you talk about peace building uh it means as Salomon, you all feel say we now we elect them basically, then in the book the laws, but in the go free willy on we who they do basically minor things we can easily regulate. So now they impunity can inside because what thing they do, if you remove your mansion, it affects ten or thousands of people. Like, oh, kind of the guy accidents, yes, maybe now once in a while and one person go kill. But if they then embezzle one project money, it, it look at millions of people they suffer. So impunity now they can inside. I mean point that one. And all of the visits with the, no, the, the war and all of them and the, go on, sir. No, no, not true. I agree with you. Now they talk, say, we, we don't try. What do you mean try for, say, uh, Patrick? No, we sit in, we, we own organization, advocate. I hope people like you can come and help us. I am just the principal founder. But now for we all, I don't say part of the diaspora strategy, now for the issue of transitional justice, criminal justice system, impunity, they not come back. And the only way we get for help, we, we fumble them with people them back home, now look at all the robot panel. No, no afraid. Government not for big past the, 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 the citizens. You know that. Therefore, as I say, the way we don't deal, the reason why we give that trajectory, that historical line, I just want it for you. The TIC, we're not dealing with the recommendation and finding the end. No, we know. Now they could say we work with Bishop. I'm being honest. Many of the findings and the recommendations, we open one whole Truth and Reconciliation Commission, don't know, we're not linking it into our development principle. That's what I'm saying. Number two, where government, they will get that transition of justice, we put special court, we deal, I mean, you remember, some people that don't deal with special court, even so, some of the people that will be honest and walk through uh, uh, for bringing peace in our country, they, they don't die. Look like yesterday. Wait till all see. Gullit. Gullits don't never to me now in Rwanda. They are serving 50 years, the East Africa and others. So we should start from that point. People are suffering. Some of them are dying in jail. Many of them are is written now, but he was that. So impunity is being dealt with. Now the baseline that made the use, because I like to deal with baseline. However, when you don't change government, and then we have Okada, you don't see, remember I said, so we enforce laws, we let it consult with people then. If we get policies way nice, it can nice, like you, they say so, Patrick. But let the people then start the principle of ownership. Let them start owning their own policies. And the only way to do that now will build consensus with them by negotiating with them so that they will see, you educate them, you inform them, say, look, we for do this and that. But we are not doing that. But whether the time for say, let we not lose hope. Our democracy, I can say, is our, we are still in the transitional democracy. With the advance, we don't get plus, we don't get this. 
But now that they said, all oh, them lessons they would not unpack it. Before they reflect on it and say, hey, this thing where they happen, so we forgot. And the opportunity will get right now as they tell you as they move that. Now, I make all my way, all my they talk about 2018, 2018 election. I say, first of all, we for induce the citizens of Sierra Leone, irrespective of political party, tribe or region, for make sure that we inspire and give hope for people who engage in the ongoing national constitutional review process. The reason why that's important, Patrick, now they tell you so, now they will put with voice, now Kenya, I wish they don't do the 2010 election uh, constitution where they don't get one life, it's where they, they don't translate that into an implementation action plan and get a national constitutional oversight committee. So all the provisions, you they see villagers, they say, say hey, that's the constitution, not to say the constitution, say who. So like now when people, they drive Okada people, then, they, then they, some big man, if they say, they for good impunity, Patrick, then we'll get the committee the oversight from civil society and all with it. No, not the whole constitution. See. But right now, we have not inspired people to say our supreme rule of law. The constitution is important to us. But from where for the stand call, no call the state, the state. From where for the stand call, say we will review that constitution. Hey, but from 1999, take it on another So we have not been able to solve the root causes of the conflict because we see the Dilidala the border. So we have to start speaking. We have to. Some of us, just been a diplomat, but for the show of past people like you can join us to say, let us advocate that we get the constitution right this time. And that constitution should be able to inspire and give hope to the citizens of Sierra Leone. So that by the time we will be done, the next election, 2018, will be determined by that constitutional provision. Nine for inspire, we will for vote. From there, the sustainable development will 2030, we will lie, we brother and sister, we will smoke brother and sister, then we will be for achievement for we. So I really understand you point the frustration. So, um, Patrick, you, you don't know? Yeah, I don't know, but uh, the man I really uh, addressed me concerns, but Salon, a big place will get a long way for go. I hope we bought our car, bought drivers, and I turn they, they do well, and hopefully the government will overturn the ban, which they need for do, in a way, you know. So, But I thank you very much for giving me the privilege for calling you the program, Ibrahim. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yes, um, JPG. We um, the other caller will be called from Guinea. Please, you can call back. We because we're going to try for roundup soon. And I know only you feel say you left out. Please, you can try for call back. Yes, JPG. I want to we can to we we talk about small about this constitution. We know the stage we're in there now. We know. The pathway everybody has to play. The pathway everybody get for play very significant because this nine go guide we for the next how many years we then go say they want review them again, we they want amend them again, we they want do any kind of changes to them again, and uh, the the commission the CRC be don't pull and force paper. We a lot of backlash becomes say. Not to so people they want and not to so it be want, but then self they say, well, money no day for continue to for ritual side and be one. But one main thing we get a strong debate that the side for citizenship for people um, of let us just say Arab descent, the, the Lebanism as we can call them. And um Please just hold on. I think we don't get a caller. Just hold on. Yes, caller. What are you name and who are you the call from? I'm Arun Rashid from Konakri, Guinea. Okay, Arun Rashid. What are you comment? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you comment or your question? Um, really, I'm uh, going to thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um... We on part na Guinea, we feel say we are left out, completely left out from this whole process of the constitution because some of we don't know really what they go on. And then the other thing, most of the parties that are, they're not get political training. It's like they just they use the people like tools because when uh, the people they need the people they have money, then they give them, but then they really try to empower them. For let them try to get uh, any human resource development. Like, for example, training of the, the local people, 
tell them what the reality will be their future. Then the political parties, the way they exist, especially my own party, SLPP, where they are giving, no structure, no day. It's like the people and they pay their contribution, no office, no day, no training, no day on political issues, no training, no day on management, how to manage a party. Then you come to the APC, of course, as you go. Then I'm money, 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 business, and they talk. Then they talk about how for fed and all the rest of it. Then they talk about how to put structures in place. After this thing, who for replace this, who for cancel, what people for do? How for reorganize the old Sierra Leoneans then? The Sierra Leoneans need restructuring and real transformation. That's now we lack in Guinea. Okay. Hello? Yes. Um, when I get access yeah. to the embassy in Guinea? We get the embassy, but the embassy, the <laughs> operation, he get away because you know, it's not a diplomatic call. You know, they're responsible for party. You only care about APC, not care about uh, the other parties. Because uh, some people are victim of them kind of thing and they. The embassy, you know, they really try to tell the people and say, we are here for everybody. They are here for APC. No structures, no day in place. Uda people say they're against them, but uh, their own pol political ambition. And they victimize them. Even though some power like me, I, be I don't become victim of so many situations because they try to say, not to sow things for going to a, 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 a foreign land. We are all Sierra Leoneans. We are coming from Sierra Leone to stay in Guinea. So we really get to see how things for work, but they know they look and so. No structure, no day. Then they talk about how to just give people the money. The money, not to the, not to the essential thing. The money, fine. But try to make very possible. You know the essence of the money where they give. Not to wait President Kai go pull $5,000 and push them before people learn. He said, this now, you now. That's where we let the policy in, in future. Sierra Leone picking and then they want go to school. Opportunity no day. They want books. They not get time. All right. Thank you very much. Although um, the call dropped, we lost some. Yes, JPG. What do you get for say to this caller? Yes. I tell you. Now, you see, Abraham uh, Abedi, um, <coughs> thanks to Rashid Arun. Now, Konaki, I wish it were there on the line for listening more. Uh, but as I tell you, way I, I, Rashid, they talk, you know, say, one of the uh, uh, concept I get now for bring the whole world come together with the call and globalization and link to that we call regionalism. I can tell people then, say, before they ask myself, say, Sierra Leone. No, not see myself as Sierra Leoneans and within a geographic and space. What we do they call the state? We are not, we're not just now with population says so don't come away at seven million. And then we ask ourselves how will they survive within that small twenty seven thousand or twenty eight thousand square miles, you know, in terms of geographic as a nation state. Meaning we therefore live in a world of interdependency, which our above we with the relate to other nations. So the most immediate one then, like Guinea, Conakry, Liberia, La Côte d'Ivoire, and then uh, Bissau, where they extend to Senegal. So wait a minute, brother, like Guinea, they talk. It makes sense. Look like when you come to, uh, wait, we'll, we'll come back to the subject of African, I mean, electoral democracy and take the African context. Wait to make African, African man with your own elections or democracy different because the factors that only influence many people that vote, Abraham, you know, say, it involve ethnicity, then as a tribe, who's where you belong, who's the you come up, and then and who's the uh, party you belong to. But most times, now clan and tribe and ethnic group of the you come on, and they influence for low vote. When you are the same type of the Sosos, the Madingos, the Mendes, the Vais, the Shabro, Who's other tribe there? Then they are then country then they. Then they are Guinea, then they Liberia, then they Salon. So now the same people there. If you look like Kailan region in particular and cut across with uh, 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 La Côte d'Ivoire and Guinea, now that Guinea forest region, you still have uh, uh, the Makona, we call it Makona River Initiative. When you talk about the, the uh, uh, in those days, when you talk about a, 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 a common trade is characterized with their tribe. Then they. 
So what did the sky for say? We should be looking at not only those of us living in the U.S. or in, 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 in Nairobi, but at what much do we attract support to ensure that within the space of regionalism, interdependency, we make sure students are involved in the political process. So I'm glad the way she talked about the constitutional review process. Today, uh, Justice Kawan and Kam, Kona, uh, Ghana, and then Kam, in a place like um, Kenya for can look at best practice, how for doing. But we don't see the mentioned issue of diaspora and voting. Uh, the Francophone countries, them, the Guinea don't, then they vote all about. Senegal recently they adopt a constitution where uh, 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 they allow all Senegalese them for vote anytime they want to vote. So it makes sense that we forgo consult with Guinea, Liberia, with neighbor them, for they then see how they will contribute to the constitution. And thank God. The question they asked um, Abraham, the the most the head for the case for adopt a constitution, the supreme supreme rule of law, that referendum will not reach the referendum stage. The referendum I will still get for vote. All man say yes or no to the constitution. So we'll not reach that side. Neither could they engage in sensitization. And part of that really not the diaspora sensitization thing. So it's fine. So I will that is fine. Then the political parties the training and capacity thing is true. I don't mention that. Everything I would say is makes sense. We need for focus on all those I APC, SLPP, UNPP, other political parties. Then they, we need for training and capacity and make sure that they operate well. And he mentioned one important thing we will work on election bribery. Now, election bribery they get law in Nairobi, in Kenya, and Ethiopia, and it in March. In terms of electoral democracy, one area where people then focus on. Now, bribery at election. Now, you are in a 15 year prison. So, we therefore, as the national constitutional review process they go on, at what point do we have a clause there where they say, even if now for local council election, bribe Bobo there, it's a two way thing. If you ever want to vote him up, then person comes to you, you pull money there, when I exchange money, no problem. I give you an instance there, 2007 8, they will tell you, all empty chatter. Now, uh, the ones that region, uh, um, now, uh, um, the Kisumu region, the, the, uh, I don't know if they call it the eastern or western region of Kenya. Chicha, they not be the goal. North is the not goal for one. Why? They, they wait for politicians and for for because the American for can't campaign. They say they not the go They don't go teach them picking in a school. Okay? Case studies them. Where people they not the go for go teach them picking in. North is they not the go at the hospital and for go see patients because they wait for politicians for can or bribery. Because during those times, when politicians can't own a uh, canvas or rally, when it does, they, they left money back. Is that the way to go? Is that what we mean by democracy? Electoral democracy, electoral democracy full of bribery and corruption? No. People should vote for you, and they should vote for the constitution, they vote for you, you go to place, so that they, so now make Kenya government, after some time, now they put laws, anybody will put one cent a brand. For blind person, whether for it, if I go to jail, if I do, or then go, then go ban you for election and life. I don't go and call some politicians, they wouldn't suffer from that. Now the same, now Ethiopia, now the same, now that. So, now very excellent point that I will make. I tell and thank you again. Over to you. Yes, we get a text. We come in. Um, the person say now, how are from Columbus, Ohio? He say, um, in the now, okay, you know, go able. For call, but in question, say what can the people do to help stop the violence against one another in Sierra Leone? Yeah, violence, political violence. Uh, 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 thank you so much, Howard, for that text. What can the people do? Yeah, the people can uh, go do something, but we serve with the joint politics. We serve with the rule the people them. Now we for make sure say. We engage in what we call voter education, sensitization, uh, reconciliation, and tolerance. And that may go say, and you, as you know, these are some of the activities that we will do for try for uh, uh, increase the reduction of what we call non-violent activities at election. We don't see what happened at Kenema recently. We don't see what they happened for the Okada people. But any time, if one of the evidence organ at the African continent and in Syria. Normally, people that uh, make the mix, the mix, the bad they mix, the old they mix, the local they mix, exam. I see them they reach for election. All man then they mobilize waiting. One is Professor Mikoli can say, Professor Lumumba and Kenya can say, during the election, 
the Africans, the citizens and the tribe, they are so peaceful. Normal times. In terms of economic development, all man they're going way with that, forget really they're nothing for it. However, when election they near, like what I don't talk about the electoral cycle 2018, they come. Well, like, now you will see people that they mobilize the ethnic and region, uh, ethnic and tribal identity into the political space. The Soso will do it, the Mendes will do it, the Locos will do it, the Timinis will do it, the Creos will do it, because now on the basis of that clan and ethnic and regional thing, and they're able to argue that you say, then they get paced access to basic services. So in that process where then they compete by ethnicity, tribalism or regionalism, now they the violence can erupt because everybody gets it. I can tell everybody say right now twenty eighteen Abraham. Nobody will tell me after President Koma is able to define the political environment right now at all. Who that get for take up after President Koma? Now God don't know. But waiting people then get for do out of the eleven political parties, then get for mobilize the ethnic identity, the region the, and then for bring a kind of the political space. So in that process, nine violence can come. However, what you can do for do that, nine could engage in what we call voter education or programs them in the long in the medium to long term and call reducing armed and electoral violence at elections. So now that's why the go stop. Okay. Since we did talk about this violence, I want to make we can small and talk about the one that we, we can hang around them party offices them. Because those are the guys too we any politician we pass by you bobo did this and that and and uh some man don't take a no, let's say a walk yeah some man don't take a let's say a walk now money need guess he goes to a party office wait and they go eat and they everything will come up and even tell me he go back so waiting at the structures them will be there in place for them party offices then they at that time we, I think they don't follow, where they don't lack behind on, where they make, where they see a lot of activities, they go on at them party offices. Say some man, they feel say, he will hold an entire party office hostage to him alone and he follow as them. What thing happen? Yeah, you brought up, like what in party for your but you see, sometimes in the, uh, some people like ask me, say, all the things that happen in that country, especially in Sierra Leone, is it the lack of legal and policy framework, policies them, or the way we plan and policy law them? No, we get it all. But the challenge we will get is implementation. There is, with my color, there is a gap between policy development or policy and law that we will get and how we go do it. Then I will get the Peter, Dr. Peter Tucker Law Reform Commission. So all the law that after the Lome Peace Agreement, then one old commission in Mapede, a law, a draft. And the same with cabinet. So many of, we get good people there. Even the, in the case of the current ruling party, the All People's Congress, President Koma, in, in, they have a lot of solid policy. So that country, they, when it comes to legal and policy framework, well, life will get there enough. But how to translate them now for many people that benefit from an inner part of the problem? The reason why I bring this one, Imagine, as I tell you, say the soft tree and I act. Where will be the government under if I, by then I was even active and I was chief of staff? The first policy where we, one of the policies that we would support government for develop was called the National Protective Security Policy 2005. What is it they talk about protective security? It is about public and government infrastructure, buildings, and assets. Alpha, including the offices and premises of political parties. They need the kind of uh, public and uh, people that they access them that they two are full. So the office in, uh, the president, the office in the state house, parliament building, national the U building at Bluefields, how and then uh, the all people's APC party office in uh, Bluefields, in uh, all the way line, you can uh, SFP office that was just the street. All the political parties then they how we go ensure that protective security measures are put in place. So before President Kaba the left, 2005 now Miata conference or May, before we nine go to the website, nine President Kaba is office. Here is your national protective security policy 
and law. As I said, one, access control. How the number of people they can in and out, waiting at the access control thing or not, the checkpoints, is it efficient? Is it going to be managed by the police? Who does that for protecting their building? In it? Two, you go right now, like for example, in an SFPP party office or APC, they know get one fire extinguisher. In case people they may go crowded in their office they every day, how we have UNPP and this, then go fire break out there. First, you go light cigarettes or you do something, fire boss. People that easily they die. So, the point I'm trying to say, then nobody they access that, then for go pull and up. And yes, I, I was in painter and the political party expiration commission and the office of nationals. I, I tell and say, look, when I start with awareness raising on the existing policy, let them see if they like it. They work with the, the, exec, the national executive officers of each political party for increased awareness. Say, this policy, they will not also say they will forget access control, you forget, forget your ID card. If you say you're an SLPP member, for example, how do you show your, your biometric ID card for access to that building? Remember that day to day, the time when they manage to get with national officers, then of APC and the SLPP office, they also need transaction time. What is the called transaction? How many times they work per day? If not eight hours, they work. How do they deliver? How do they put the thing? Not to alter, for go hang around the office, they say, yes, we are doing that. But we also get in a political parties, then get what we call activists. This one, where they go hang around, we should not say that they go hang at the party office anymore. Yes, they do. But an activist them. Now they make political parties and survive. They make their noise. And, however, many of them also, like for example, in the SLPP, they organize themselves into grassroots movement. They work in Boston. I can go all of Boston and party office. No, I'm not getting anything about that. But the point is, waiting your corner in mind, link them back to the Okada incident. Link them back to unemployment. Link them back to idleness, lawlessness, we won't to engage them properly. Though some of those people have lost 10 or 15 years of their childhood or deep transformation, Abraham. So the thing is, instead of we just go to we now pull them command at their party office and they would they sell this, whether they do this, whether they market. No, we perform alternative microcredit finances programs that way for make them forget their livelihood, their day-to-day -day livelihood. That is where we have not thought through. Secondly, we need to educate the national executives of them party then they say there are national protective security measures for access control, fire extinguishing, and how we are able to manage the premises, the vicinity and premises of them party office. Then once we translate that we can get them project. This is why the Office of National Security for the promote because they work on a policy formulation and strategic coordination. Then before you Take the police then for go put operational support and say, we're not coming out. No, we should to understand. Let them take ownership. I keep coming back to policy ownership. Let the party office them, the national office has to understand that there's existing policy. Look like a, if you take like SLPP, so, uh, Chief Sumano Captain and Dr. Prince Hardy, for example, now the deputy chairman of the party, he was in cabinet, he was a minister. He knows about those policies. A chief captain was head of a, was a senior civil servant. He knows about those policies. Take them to the create awareness. Say, power, we'll get this menu. Rules and responses are clear. We are not going to organize training and capacity of sensitization for the. Then we we'll, then we'll call the grassroots now, the activists there now, then supporters and say, hey, we'll get training for now. The ONS will come, make the presentation on the policy in terms of uh, protective security measure and the provision. Then they will take down and say, we're not good at the top. At the same time, we find alternative livelihoods for them. They are brothers and sisters, we should not forget. We should not castigate them. We will not say, oh, they are the, na, uh, na, five, but they are no more. No, but what have we done? Remember, their transformation life was interfered by 11 to 15 years old. Well, over to you. All right. I think, say, we go can round up now. And uh, we... we I believe, say, the listeners, them out there, they don't learn a lot. They don't learn a lot today, and eyes them don't be open. And when I hear we, we we get Arun and Samuel from Guinea, it make me think, but let me see what thing will happen in the future. Maybe share a network radio, get for visit them in Guinea, and make we get a tete-a-tete, exactly. -tete, one -on one-on-one talk with them, and no, see... Forget la, no, forget la, no, forget la, <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
You guys, you fumble and they, you guys, you guys, from where the war be, so man on can don't get, they don't get the life lead and they, they, but they are still that interdependent. But look, the, you go interest it for no, you say, I don't call you what, Abraham, I'm sorry. The post where they buy right now for be president, uh, like we are not one talking now, only the man on loss. But you get small bang 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 with salon. So you will not forget you. So you see, that's not the interdependency. Just like people, they say, uh, uh, back up myself, uh, uh, my former boss, uh, in Papa self, they get origin again. So now the same people, they're the border. Yeah, definitely. But before we left you for go, what thing you think, say, now the way forward in peace building and electoral democracy in a salon? Yeah, I think, say, thank you so much now for conclude now. Now, very, as you say, it's been a very uh, uh, um, interesting conversation. I, I, I think, see, there are two things I will left listening at every time. I want for again tell you, thank you. But the way forward here, where we see one, we need for focus with attention on capacity building of our political parties. Now, as I, alone, as I say, the... Um, we, after, in terms of peace building and transformation, both political and economic transformation, we relatively don't do well with political elections. No, not the political party, elections. The international community, they admire we. However, uh, the national elections are doing well in terms of multi-party democracy, their outcome, the independent national electoral commission, the political party registration commission, is doing, they are doing very well in terms of regulating them. But the gap and challenge the way they did, like we and she and she not to me say this is not one evidence. Me not know what's happen at Guinea itself, Abraham. Guinea they don't tell clearly say the political parties then then presence then the important representation. However, it doesn't stop at representation. We need to build training and capacity awareness raising for them. So training and capacity building that one area. And then two, make sure that them party then they way can't electoral democracy. Then try to adhere to the principles of governance. Principles of electoral democracy, which means how do they do their business? Is it how we can help them for make sure say when they conduct their internal party elections, they are done in a free, fair, transparent, and accountable manner, so that it is consistent with this in principle. The whether or overseas is or whether or national election, it will be the same election or election. Not consensus is not an election. So, in a nutshell, this is what, what I mean by. Uh, consolidating the peace where we don't go through. We, the peace building and salon it clearly demonstrates that in terms of institutional reform, we don't get it right. However, we don't focus more on certain sectors to the detriment of political parties. So on the way forward, I believe say, as citizens of Sierra Leone, as we go through a constitutional review process, we also, for, for, not for forget it, we therefore help institution building in terms of political parties, so that they will able to function and perform the roles the way they are able. After all, we then win national elections, now they are in charge of the national budget, now they are in charge of revenue collection, now they are in charge of distribution of wealth, so that we will access to their basic services. But administratively, if they are able to function well, the internal electoral democratic process is not based on the people, now few people that are the determiner that it is not fair on behalf of the two. And now one of the costs that we can meet for the lost national election, the allocation of symbol, sometimes they say it is done by, I know to then say, we don't find out from research, whether they even allocate symbol now by party business, nepotism, which is called factionalization. So for they do allocate symbol based on what the people they need, not that way they then go make them political party, whether they are in, 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 in government or in opposition, they can win national election. That is what we mean by electoral democracy. So once again, Abraham, for the opportunity, for the conversation, and I want to tell you, Boku, thank you, and for tell the listener, thank you. I think in our conversation we will continue with, especially where they can move towards the process of uh, 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 the constitutional referendum process for adopting a new constitution. Over to you, my brother. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you very much, JPJ. Just like how you say, uh, we go to car with you. We go definitely car with you in the future again so that we go continue this conversation. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Thank you.